So to start, we need to figure out what on earth an unidentified, I'm sorry, an undefined term is. My brain went to UFOs, I'm sorry. We need to figure out what an undefined term is. An undefined term is going to be a term or a word that can only be explained by using some sort of example or some sort of description, which is going to be different than a full definition. A full definition is going to give you a checklist, a bunch of things you need to look for that that object has. And if you can match every checkbox, that's what it is. The color blue. Can you give me a checklist of what I need to look for to know whether what I'm looking at is the color blue? Yeah. Give me the checklist. It has to be a little bit more than is it blue? Because that doesn't give us any kind of, you know, what does it mean to be blue? A Smurf or Megamind. These are not check boxes because the sky is not a smurf or mega mind but we're still going to call the sky blue right it's because smurf or mega mind or sky or his hoodie or her hoodie these are all examples or the ocean these are all examples of what it is to be blue the word blue then is undefined in our English language, we can't define it. We can only give you an example of what it is to be blue. Geometry has three words like that, and only three of them. And geometry and we as a class are going to use these three words throughout the course of the year to create and build definitions and checklists for other objects and ways to describe these other objects. And by doing that, we will build the same geometry that our ancestors built for us thousands of years ago. Let's give you the first undefined term. Point. The only way to describe what a point is is to say it's a location. I can tell you that this location is not going to have a size, nor is it going to have a shape and I'm gonna ask you to draw points I'm gonna ask you to draw something that has no size what I'm gonna ask you to draw something that has no shape what we can't actually draw a point so we're gonna draw a representation we're gonna say when we see that symbol we're talking about a point Sure, that symbol is like a really small circle, right? And it has some sort of size, and it definitely has a shape because I said circle, but in actuality, it's just representing a point, which doesn't have a size and doesn't have a shape. And since we're going to be drawing a whole bunch of points and probably all next to each other, we need to have a way to refer to which point we're talking about. Just like each one of you has your own individual name that you prefer that I call you by and not mispronounce horribly. <laughs> I'm working on it. Names have their own points that they want to be written <laughs> and they want to be called by. A point must be named by an uppercase print letter. Any letter you like. Let's look at this first diagram right here. Can you name for me the points in that diagram? A, B, C, D. Beautiful. What about the points in this one? Someone who hasn't answered yet. A, B, C, D, and E. A, B, C, D, and E. Yes?